that was it. Welcome to the Phono Cave. Today we were testing a uh, HMV 101. Oh, sorry. Everything's still alright? Yes. <sighs> so, put that thing a bit more aside and so I can cramp in. Okay, the HMV 102, not 101. works again. I had this uh, in for repairs. Initial repairs didn't work because the original motor had a uh, spring barrel that was slightly out of round, exactly on the point where the hub was. The hub was worn, so you, know, you put a new spring in and what happens? Uh, it doesn't work. You wind, you wind, you wind, and the spring doesn't catch. So, option two. I had a pretty much brand new old stock motor, which I put in, and well, pretty much proved itself to be pretty much brand new old stock. No wear and tear, and you know, with this, you know, you can, you saw, uh, one uh, one ten inch record and well nearly as if you count this one nearly a ten inch record nearly two sides of that little one uh, uh, let's put this one back into the drawer uh, uh, now what do I think of the one hundred and two well, I don't think very much about HMV machines because I kind of don't like them. But as a player machine, you know, you can't pretty much can't get better. You know, there's one that's better. That's the HMV 114, which is pretty much the same idea as this one, only twice the size. It's a uh, portable with risk of hernia. This one is pretty light, has a one spring motor, which as you heard works uh, pretty well. Uh, but I, what I don't like about HMV is that you know, they're rather dull in design. You know, even if they're colored, they're pretty dull. No uh, extra no extras as far as decorations are concerned, you know, the furthest they went are the corner protectors. But, you know, like I said, uh, as a player machine, this, this is pretty unbeatable. You know, there are machines that uh, come close to this, but in a lot of cases they're uh, double spring motor machines which are damn heavy to to lug around so if you want to take out the gramophone uh, onto a, if you want to take out a gramophone with you to a picnic then the 102 is the best choice because the next uh, person next uh, the person sitting next to you is going to be able to hear it which really can't be said of uh, a lot of other small portable gramophones. Well, I think I'm pretty much uh, set here. Uh, another nice thing about this machine is that it still has the key of the lock, which doesn't turn because it's 70 odd years old. And it's, it's a real nice compact machine. It has another feature though, which is somebody decided to see this as a very nice place to put a plant. And that normally happens a lot to uh, HMV uh, 
table tops or the big cabinets with, with a portable. Well, anyway, oh, this is uh, pretty much what I wanted to say. Uh, thank you for watching.